Hello there, good people. Welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw, here to talk a little fantasy football. Today we concentrate on the FoxSports.com quick challenge, but this time we're talking fast draft. Opportunity for you to engage in a fantasy draft this late in the season. I know a lot of people say the best part of the fantasy football season is when you take part in a draft. Well, you can do it every single week at FoxSports.com. And today we're going to discuss the best player at each, at each position. And we'll start off at the quarterback position. And the man to get this week is none other than Drew Brees of the New Orleans Saints. Well, they're going against their rival in Atlanta, which means... Dome, weather won't be a factor. It's a good thing for a quarterback. And also, just look at this team right now. They are playing fantastically. All the guys are making the big plays. Jeremy Shockey's doing all right. Marcus Colson with a big 40-plus yard play last week. Robert Meacham is just from a different planet this year. He's been remarkable. Drew Brees putting up stellar numbers, particularly when you consider that the backfield has some question marks these days. As far as running backs, we're talking about the best running back in the NFL this season. Chris Johnson of the Tennessee Titans. Not only is he the best against no matter who, look what he did last week against the Indianapolis Colts, but this weekend he takes on the St. Louis Rams, one of the worst defenses in the NFL. This should be a blowout, and it's because of the running game. Not many teams could blow out opponents because of their rushing attack, but that's the case for the Titans these days. So you have to like Chris Johnson getting his 150-plus yards. Not only should he pass 2,000 rushing yards on the season this year, but he should even get over around 2,100, an unbelievable year to remember for the young Chris Johnson. We now move to the wide receiver position and the guy that you want to pick up is Andre Johnson of the Houston Texans. He's having a fine year so far. The thing that's important is the matchup here. It's going to be a matter of the Houston Texans taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Sounds like the recipe for a fine passing duel between Matt Schaub and Matt Hasselbeck. Something to consider also for Houston is that Steve Slayton is gone for the year due to injury. So don't expect Ryan Motes and Chris Brown to carry this offense. As long as Matt Schaub is healthy, Andre Johnson's in for a big performance. Now we move on to the tight end position, and this is a tough one. Vernon Davis having a great season. I was considering picking him, but I'm going to go with Antonio Gates. I just think he's a more consistent option these days. This is a guy who could regularly get over 80 yards receiving, which is remarkable for a tight end. He might have had better years in the past, but Gates is stepping up this season after a couple of disappointing years because of injuries. So Gates is the way to go against the Dallas Cowboys. Should be a fun shootout, and I'm not all that worried about the Cowboys' defense. So Gates Gates should get loose. Expect big numbers from him. Well, my friends, that's all we have for you now. If you have any questions, email us fantasycontent at opensports.com.